Hey there. So I want to show you how I'm configuring things uh, to sell courses using LearnDash and WooCommerce. So I'm just going to walk you through how it's working over here. So we'll go into LearnDash first and you'll see that um, my goal uh, this week was to create or, or to bring over two of the courses that I'd already created and to create three more. So I brought the two over from before and I created uh, the first of the three today. So these are the courses and in each of these courses what you're going to notice you see that term closed right there. When I go into the course and I go into the settings and I scroll down, you're going to see it's closed. That's because you're not buying it from LearnDash. I didn't get Stripe configured. I'm not doing any payments that way. I'm having you buy it from WooCommerce. So when you go to build, you not only build the course inside of LearnDash, you also then have to build a product over at WooCommerce. And when you're done with that, you can come back over here and change this button. That right there, 59448, is the ID of the WooCommerce product associated with this. So, so that's that piece. Now, you also know I'm running uh, Fluent CRM if you've been watching the last couple videos. And so uh, here I'm adding some tags when they buy this course. I also tend to mark uh, free form, meaning if someone wants to jump between lessons, I, I'm totally cool with that. So... So you go, okay, that's setting up the course. But then we have to go into WooCommerce and create products, right? So you go over to WooCommerce, you take a look at products. And over here, you're going to see that mini course that we were just looking at. And we'll talk about why it's $19 uh, later, maybe in the post that I write associated with this video. Um, but here's the course. And um, you'll notice that it is set as a course. And here's that cool little piece, which is the... Learn Dash courses, it's this, this is the link, right? So this is where you connect the dots between the WooCommerce product and the Learn Dash product. And at that point, you would think, okay, we're done, right? We're done. There's, you're going to go add a, a WooCommerce product that's going to automatically register you or automatically enroll you for uh, the Learn Dash one. And you go, well, almost. See, there's a couple other little things you got to be paying attention to. And so there's a plugin over here, right, that I'm going to show you that I added because sometimes, depending on the payment gateway you're using and, and, and all that stuff, uh, sometimes the order is left in pending. And the problem with that code that goes from uh, WooCommerce linking you back to LearnDash and enrolling the customer is that um, if it's in pending and not complete, that connection won't happen. So auto-complete WooCommerce orders, and it has some options, right, is another little tool that helps me so that I say, hey, for real, this is a digital product. I'm not shipping anything. No need to delay. Just collect the money and automatically set the status back to completed, which will trigger the connection back and forth. So you go, okay, that's, that's another piece you got to think about. You go, hold on a second. What happens when someone just naturally finishes buying something? Well, they're just left on the receipt page, right? You go, no, I don't want that. So over here, my one of my favorite plugins is the WooCommerce Redirect Thank You. That's by uh, Daniel and the group over at Shop Plugins. And one of the things it lets you do is it lets you create a post-purchase redirect to a page, right? And you go, yeah, that's that's no problem, right? Thank you for your purchase. I go, yeah, but it also gives you the opportunity to go to a specific other page for a specific product you're buying. So if we go back to this um, mini course that I created, you're gonna see over on this right side, it's a custom thank you page. And now this is a different page. This is the thank you for your course purchase. And so if I come back over to my pages, what you're gonna find is that I've created a page that is specific to uh, people who are, are buying courses, right? And so that's this guy here. We'll go over and take a look at it, right? Thank you for your course purchase. Are you ready? Let's do this. And here's the link. Here's the, and, and by the way, if you'd made a purchase, this would have been filled with all the order details and all that good stuff. That's a short code that Daniel gives you so you can drop in and that's, that's all good, right? But this is the, hey, I want to go to the account page because that's where you see all your purchases and stuff, right? So shop plugins, 
WooCommerce redirect thank you helps me solve that problem. But wait, there's another piece that happens. When I go to the My Account page, what you're gonna find, right? Normally, you're gonna come over here to, to Dashboard. You're gonna, you're gonna land here, right? And there's not gonna be anything called Courses. That's, that's not there, right? So I wanna add Courses. And when I add Courses, I actually want on this right side to be the courses that I'm enrolled in so that I can use that link to go back to that course. And, and, and the, that piece is there all the time. Well, how do you do that, right? Well, this whole piece is a short code. You can drop that in, it works. It's LD uh, underscore profile. It's a learn dash short code, so that's great. But how do you get a courses piece in here and drop this in? Well, for that, I needed my handy dandy snippets. My snippets plugin, it's not my plugin, it's someone else's, but I use it all the time. And I had to take and, um, and, and put little bits of snippets of code, right? So the first thing I had to do was I had to add a new endpoint into the My Account menu, right? Now, all of this is code that, you know, I can, I can show you, I can share with you, you can, you can copy it here. You get it all online. Um, all I had to do was just make sure that I was naming it, right? My course's endpoint, right? So I was naming it. Uh, also, you know, I, actually, the first thing I have to do is create the endpoint. So that's where I have the courses endpoint. So I create that courses endpoint, then I put it into the menu, and then I have to put the content, which is just using a do short code and dropping in that short code. So most of this code I didn't write, it's just, it's, it's natively there, but I had to put that in so that we go from looking at a, um, and actually the last step, which I have to do, is the courses page that I wanna create, and with a button that goes to WooCommerce checkout right away. And then they buy it over there. They get routed to the thank you. The thank you has the link. The link goes back to my account. The my account has the courses in there. And that gets in the link back to any course that they bought. So that's what we've been doing. If you want to know more about why I um, created a course and only charged $19 for it, then circle back to the post that has this video embedded on it, and I'm happy to tell you more of the details there.